So a lot of you asked if we could compare the 693 with the new 687 Silver Picking 3. So that's exactly what we are doing. GMK have sent over this, a 693 Vittorio, which we reviewed like a year ago, with possibly the nicest wood you'll ever see in the side of the grade and perhaps even higher on a Beretta. And we have the same 687 Silver Pigeon 3 that we videoed the other day. Let's look at the differences. So we'll start with physical differences, uh, but not saying anything about this being a Vittoria because let's pretend that it's not or the stock spec is the same, pound for pound. There's a real interesting one here because both of these guns are marked with the same wood grade Beretta 2.5. As you can see, they are wildly different. This is stunning and this is just nice. That in itself is an interesting chat, all the same, but just to say that if you don't like the wood on the gun that you are going to buy, don't feel forced to buy it, uh, because there may be another with wood that is preferable to you inside of grade two and a half. Try to find another one that looks, looks like this, it's probably going to be next to impossible. Probably gonna be next to impossible. However, there is different characters to be had and different flavors to find in the wood world. So. Wood quality between the two does not vary a lot. Having seen numerous 693s and now a couple of 687s, they're, they're the same wood grade. You luck out or you won't luck out or you'll like it or you won't. The wood finish, however, is very different. So you can see in the wood here versus here, this has a much more closed or filled grain versus this piece of wood here. The new oiling technique, the new glossy finish seems to have created a harder finish or more solid finish on the wood than the old one. The old one did have a tendency to wash out after you take it in the heavy rain a few times and you need to maintain it, which I don't really see an issue with, but people did. Rubbing oil into your stock when you guess it's actually maintaining the wood as much as you do the metal work to me seems logical. However, creating a gun that requires less maintenance is kind of, is a better thing, isn't it? Is they're designed to be hard as nails. The checkering between the two, the 693 is a finer, more classical shape of checkering and 687 has a coarser checker. This looks like 26 and this looks like 22, just off the top of my head, just a guess. And this is potentially a little bit less nice. Price point on these, by the way, varies. The Vittoria, or the 693 regardless, gun for gun, spec on spec, is about 250 pounds different, give or take. So it's more expensive, it is more expensive. The wood finish on 687 is preferable. They call it a gloss finish, it's not that shiny, it's just nice and lustrous and deep, but it's good quality, and I would say that is preferable to the 693. The checker on the 693 is preferable, but seeing as neither is done by hand, and both could be upgraded at some point in the future by, I don't know, somebody with a checkering tool, there's a thought. Or it doesn't really matter, because actually, there's enough checker there on both of them for it to serve the purpose of adding grip to your hand. In fact, the coarse one is probably more practical, but just looks less refined than this. Certainly looks a little bit cheaper. Triggers. One is gold and one is silver. Take your pick as to which one you prefer. I'm a silver trigger guy. Through and through, I think it looks a little bit cooler. Black trigger is actually the coolest. Um, but the gold trigger is fine. It's nice. It's a nice touch. It's a better thing, isn't it? It's take your choice. Engraving, not action, varies quite a lot, but not a lot. And this is actually quite an interesting thing. So if we look at the engraving side by side, you'll see that the basic thought of a pheasant beating out of a bush and flying away, even the same trees, everything is a very, very similar style. However, this is better, like unequivocally better. On this 690, and I understand that the action frame is lower and slightly different shape, so actually, you know, with less surface area, but they've tried to cover and cram as much into this area as possible, and actually they lose quite a lot for it. More importantly is, it just doesn't look as nice. There's more shading on the pheasant. It's more appropriate. It's deeper in places as well. The grass in the background, the actual, the foreground of the photo back here, 
the grass of the back of the photo here is more grass like here it's just a single cross hatch to mark the horizon and then the clouds here are beautiful and well thought out and minimalistic but perfect and here they are just rough coarse cutting it's not it is cruder on the 693 than it is on this and this is just on the game scene and that goes for both sides there is more depth and a much nicer image made here than there is here some people will disagree and you are more than welcome to however this is beautiful rather than this there you go when you get to the front of the action and this will probably divide opinions more is that this is just a standard acanthus and scroll with the bordering it's quite nice however given that it comes straight off the back of the old scroll which was deeper and looked a little better or even like one of the classic uh, 687 classic that is rolled and then hand finished which is beautiful this kind of just looks lackluster and if you've never seen one before this looks really nice but when you've seen the old ones this kind of seems a little bit underwhelming under detailed especially by comparison to this a gun that's 250 pounds less and has immensely detailed and beautiful engraving and I think it's because they didn't honour any of the old gods whatsoever. They just went, yeah, bollocks, we're going to make something new and very exciting and different. And they've clearly succeeded in that because it is different and beautiful and full and lustrous and exciting. And you can look at it and find new things as opposed to look at it and go, yeah, that's a scan for some scroll. And it's not particularly exciting one either. You know, fine scroll done by hand is in such a work of art. But where it's done by a machine, it's suddenly a little bit underwhelming by comparison to this. And when I saw this by itself, it's a good looking gun, but it's not as good looking as this. Similar rulings, by the way, go for the top. As the 687 is fuller and more exciting and certainly capitalizes on that laser engraving that little bit extra. A little bit extra. There you go. That's kind of it. I think the engraving on the 687 is nicer. It's just better thought out and that was probably a different machine to be honest, but it's deeper, it's nicer, it's better done, it's got more character. You don't mind it being done by machine when it's done to this standard, when it's done to this standard, it just, it just lacks a little something something. Obviously with the forehand as well, where the 687 is steel, they've done a little bit more with that than they can on the 690. Forehand radius is on both. The 690 is that little bit deeper and as such fills the hand that little bit nicer for those of you who like a deep forehand, but the 687 is significantly more slender and actually, well, it's not all bad that it fills the hand less because it becomes a much more versatile thing. This has a couple of ways you can hold it. This is very nice, um, I think. Not that I've always been a, been a bit of a 680 fanboy over the 690 for a little while now, just in secret. When it comes to gun to for gun, I think stuff like the 694 and the 692 are epic and beautiful and really good sporting guns, but I think for their game spec, the 680 kind of just has my heart still. All in all, this feels like, and everyone I've spoken to about it and who's had a go, feels like one of the old Berettas. Uh, that sounds, when we said old Berettas are better, there's a video on that somewhere on our channel. I don't know, just feels like they found their feet, which is nice. And the 680 in this instance, gun for gun, model for model, beats the 690 model for model. Whereas I'd say in the, the one, the base grades, that might not be the case, but then the price is way more disparate. So. There we go. Uh, mechanically, we've done a 680 versus a 690 uh, actions before as well, so I'm not going to get too deep into that. But needless to say, I'm starting to feel like the ability to have that, that metal forehand actually does put that little bit of extra weight between the hands where it's steel versus alloy. And as much as that, the overall balance may affect it positively in the 690 series, for me, the 680 in this instance just feels a little bit more planted between the hands. Uh, not that, that makes that much difference because they both shoot very well and very differently and will suit different people. So I'm not going to be too judgmental about weight and balance between the two. But that is my honest opinion between the two. I think when it comes to these two models, my heart would be with the 687 Silver Gen 3, the new one, um, versus the 693. I think pound for pound, a saving of £250, that is a really nice gun. There may be talks of an upgrade wood version or something like that in the future. That would be quite nice to have sort of the classic level wood on there, grade three wood on there, uh, because then it would look like this because this is clearly more grade three than it is two and a half in the Beretta lineup. In fact, this is very blatantly grade three. But it just goes to show that Beretta's demo guns don't always come with stunning wood. It's just, it really is luck of the draw, complete luck of the draw. But that also is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. That wood on that action, and I'd be happy. 
And that is the sort of ridiculous thing that people do. There you go, guys. The end. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you like, and maybe even become a member to support the channel and the work that we do if we've helped you out at all. Take care, guys.